Bluetooth. You can Bluetooth. Bluetooth. You can you turn on the Bluetooth. Yeah, 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 exactly. saying that he is mad. I remember the incident, it was really happened during 
Nazi uh, camp, that is, where the doctor said that he gave, he had a bathtub filled with water and gave that person to be punished three uh, items. One is a bucket, another one is a spoon, and the third one is a cup and he was asked to empty the water. Obviously, he will choose the first bucket because he, he got the, their, their aim is to prove him that he is mad. He chose the bucket and the doctor gave him a certificate he is mad because he did not uh, empty the water by removing the sink cap from underneath. So this is how uh, they have a conventional method. See, they questioned him differently and they expected the answer differently. Whereas teacher is not like that. Here we always see that how they are able to think critically. So we accept all types of questions. Unlike that, this is why sometimes even I also have experienced personally where doctors do go wrong in diagnosing their disease. So a success formula is very important for with critical thoughts. Um, even in anybody, anybody's life, everybody's life, we always have critical thoughts because without critical thoughts you cannot proceed. We have moved from a stone age to the smartphone age. So it is because every time they were thinking critically in the classroom and they turn out to be a scientist and they are able to design from stone to weapon, weapon to wheel and wheel to iPhone. So here I prefer to see that that when we incorporate the critical thoughts inside the classroom, we should see that they are not that bored. That is why it should not happen the other way around. That is, seeing the teacher, you should not run away. So I came across one important picture saying that after the weekend, normally the children uh, try to keep themselves away. It should not happen like that because they feel that I should go back to school. When Monday dawns, you should not think that, oh, Monday again, that should not be the reason. So we have to uh, introduce the critical thoughts in a joy way method, play way method, not by uh, forcing, not by enforcing, not by a cane system. In our daily life, critical thoughts is applied everywhere. Even if I if I'm giving a, a electronic gadgets to anybody, you have to explore. The person who explores and then learns by himself is automatically he has a critical thought. Anywhere, see when I am inside the room, it is locked. I need not ask anybody how to open the room. I have to explore. So sometimes we do come across a person who is uh, not having explored the situation. So here there is a situation where I came across sometime. By silly method, we don't explore ourselves and then we end up in a great trouble. So this is a very good video which shows how the exploring is important. So here I'll just show the sound system also. Is that so this is a situation where we all are faced, we can never say no. Sometimes we don't think with common sense. So effectively, you have through critical thoughts, you overcome that common sense. That is what I say. So sometimes, as I was telling that sometimes doctors do go wrong very often. Often the teachers diagnose the problem of the students perfectly. Even a philosopher. So once it really happened, a doctor could not diagnose the king of a kingdom because he was having lot of problem. And finally, he went to a teacher. He became a great philosopher. And the teacher said that you just have to see only green everywhere, here and there. But then. The king did not think critically, rather he, he saw that wherever he goes, whatever he sees, should be made into green. 
So that is how he ordered that everywhere to his fellow members that make everything into green. So that was a green revolution. And this is the situation where I am trying to show that how how the this is made into green. So he made everything into green. Uh, can we read? So uh, it's a monk philosopher. He gave the that sea in green color because then all were effectively he had a disease of ice. So that is a the it says that the disease was with the ice. So in order to overcome the problem with his ice, that sea only green. And then he made he spent millions of dollars to convert everything into green. Finally, once the same monk, the philosopher came to see him to check his effect and the fellow members suddenly took him, put, poured on him the green paint everywhere because that was the order given by the king. Then that was the time the monk said that you should not have done this, you should have gone for just put a green speck. We should have gone for a green speck. So it is a foolish to change the entire world into green. It is better we should have done it by putting a critical in our deed using a green spectacles. So to bring it down, um, so this is what I said that, that the monk said that if only you had purchased a pair of green spectacles uh, and you put it on your face, you could have saved a million dollars that you have spent. So it's a small case sometimes, critically we don't think and then we spend millions of dollars and then later on we realize that we made a mistake. So that is how the critical thoughts, what is taught in the classroom, in the maths class is really applicable everywhere in our daily life. There are many situations we come across this. Uh, even we always teach them how to solve a situation, a problem. Uh, that is what is popularly called as the Bodmas rule. Where there is a bracket out first, then division, then multiplication, and then addition, and then subtraction. Uh, unless you go through that systematically, you may not achieve a problem, you may not complete a situation, you may not uh, complete or you may not get the result perfectly. I am just checking so that I am on time to complete it on time. So that is the reason we always say that always follow in the order. If you are not going through a systematic order, whether it is a, a greater than any operation in the surgical, in, in uh, by the physician or by the physicist or by mathematicians unless you go through you should have a rhythmic order so you should remember the order also in a rhythmic method that is why we call it as a ridiculous and innovative teaching methods for the teachers or for the students to learn certain formula for that you have to follow the order so the, the most important discovery in our mathematics life I would say that Bodmer's rule which is applied right from KG to PG under the research level. So I just tell you one simple situation where how a right order of filling really uh, achieves the solution. If you don't follow the right order, uh, then we end up as a disaster. So this is the next situation I'm just showing how the right filling of certain thing is very important.
saying to follow the right order. The right order you should feel. It is exactly similar to Bodmas rule unless you do perfectly order wise you cannot achieve the result. So that was a fitting example that you must follow the order otherwise we end up disaster. Most of the competitive entrance examination he always follows all these simple rules. We always teach them all the divisibility test. We always teach them all the squares of a number. No squares of a number ending with 2, 3, 7, 8. We teach them. But whenever they come to the examination, they give five, four, five choices. When there is uh, numbers are ending with 2, 3, 7, 8, they can directly reject. And what is left is the right answer. That can be selected in a second without solving it. So these are the critical thoughts where you have to think and then answer. Even while designing any instrument, while drawing a geometrical figures, you must be very accurate. Our scale is with millimeter accuracy. While designing the aircraft, it is of micrometer accuracy. If you are not accurate, if the team is not accurate, again it can be a blast of the space shuttle or the aeroplane, everything. So this is another, uh, we always teach them, they may get hesitated in doing perfectly and then uh, asking them to repeat again and again, they may get hesitated but they will know uh, by seeing this, once I showed this video and they saw that how they were very accurate to achieve this task, unless there is precision, unless there is accuracy, they cannot achieve this, so that is what I insist. There should not be any uncertainty when you are making a measurement of this length of this uh, this pointer. When it is 50 centimeter, one should not measure it as even 50.1 centimeter. That much accuracy is needed in our daily life while sending a man to space or Mars and so on. Because otherwise, he will never return back. It can be a blast like where Kalpana Chawla had to leave uh, live our life from Earth along with nine others. So this is a video which will show how accuracy which achieves the result.
So that was a fitting example to show one has to be very accurate and precise otherwise they would not have achieved the final task. It would have stopped in between. So you have to be, because some may not like it when we ask them to repeat, redraw and they take it perfectly. There are some students who do heavy method. They don't even cast the pencil pen properly. They don't even, a good makeup is very important. They may put a very good makeup on their face, but not on the paper. So that is very important in life because if you have to achieve, if you have to design a rocket to send it to space, it is a very must. It is basically a rocket science. Critical thoughts is a rocket science. When you have a good, good critical thoughts, you can really design a rocket. So there are many situations that you have to have the right effort. As I, tell, as I mentioned some time back that we know that the square of a number cannot end with 2, 3, cannot end with 7, 8. And if they are having decimals, it, after squaring, it should not have odd number of digits of decimals. Once you know that, then they can easily crack the entrance examination perfectly. So that is the reason sometimes uh, the experienced people have a very good effort. See, this is another example. I'm just trying to show how one should crit think critically. It is a right effort which pays down. This is the one where how the students are having the putting the right efforts to do their right job. This is a situation really happened where how the critical thoughts have helped the ship engine. None of them could figure out the problem, but finally they approached an old man who is well experienced. He carried a bag full of tools. He came to the ship, he accepted the task, he inspected the ship, then he checked, he spent more time in inspection. Then finally, he took a small part of the tool, that is a, just a normal hammer. It is a small hammer and then he just tapped onto the right spot and then tightened the nuts and bolts and then the ship started. Later on he sent the bill. The bill was one million yen. It was a shock to the owner. How come? He hardly did anything. He just tapped with a small hammer and a dot. So they wrote to the old man, come on, let me know what is the item I should be, what item did you put? Then the old man wrote to them back, for tapping I just had only 1000. But then he said, where to tap is 999,000. That was the bill he said. It's really, it is difficult to believe because you should know the right efforts. You should know where to tap because anybody can tap anywhere. See, so it is, they don't realize, the ship started that they don't realize, but the old man could get away with them because he knew the difference is he had a critical thought. So that is what very important. The critical thought is very important. So in our daily life, we should also experience that unless we have a kind of right effort, you cannot achieve that test. Now, now we do come across, uh, we, we are learning in the school level, uh, the number line. It is normal number line, uh, zero, left side, negative integers, right side, positive integers. Today, critical thoughts has replaced those number line as a line called as the power of 10. Because that is what I am just trying to show you. You all might not have seen it. Because today, we are able to measure the dimension 
of objects right from 10 raised to minus 25 meter which is the the size of the quarks that is a very smallest particle inside the nucleus and the size of our entire universe that is 10 raised to plus 25 meter so today the number scale is different it is redefined as the power of 10 so i'm just trying to show so where luckily in the number scale they put 0 as 10 raised to 0 10 raised to 0 is 1 it is all in SI units in meter 10 raised to 0 is 1 meter they have taken that as the size of the human on earth so here it starts from 10 raised to 0 meter so very fact see human of course we are from this milky way galaxy there may be other living things but human is considered as 10 raised to 0 meter means 1 meter of course our height is not 2 meter not 100 meter when it is 100 we would have written 10 raised to when it is 10 meter we would have written 10 raised to 1 we are not 1 centimeter or 10 centimeter it is appropriate so what i am trying to say approximately 1 meter you may be 1.7 meter but from here if you go on the left side you can go up to 10 raised to minus 25 meter on the right side you can go to the universe the size of the universe so i am just showing this you will literally see all the things now it is becoming smaller and smaller and see the size chicken egg so as you see the glass marble so this is the so i'll just take the figure little backward okay now you are able to see glass marble 10 raised to minus 1 means minus it is not cannot be 10 centimeter but a smaller now it may be showing the coffee bean so this way you can go up to 10 raised to minus 25 so when i said minus 2 it is nothing but 1 centimeter that is glass marble so these are very fantastically they have redefined the number scale this is an ant size is 10 raised to minus 2 maybe the length of the or height or the maximum dimension is 1 centimeter so when you say human egg 10 raised to minus 4 centimeter it means that 0.1 millimeter that is the size of the human egg so this way you are literally able to show to the students what really the size we are living with when you say see this is the famous microwaves red light the famous it is called as the infrared light 10 raised to minus 5 meter so accordingly you can check that how small it is which is and as you go further down smaller and smaller i could see ultraviolet daylight so it is 10 raised to minus 6 meter means still one hundred of the other one dna size 10 raised to minus 8 so this way you are going i'm just suddenly switching over to so this is the power of 10 the number scale is redefined in the higher level at the secondary i can go up to minus 25 you can literally see the neutrino already we are gone inside the uh, nucleus if i further I will reduce it you can see that after, after that nobody has measured anything once they reached minus 25 nobody has measured then it is all only imagination but up to 10 raised to minus 25 they are measured on the other side if i go on the right side the number scale uh, as you see where we started 10 raised to 0 the human figure from there see we are reaching elephant size when you see the elephant size 10 raised to almost uh, 1 meter it is the what is the height or the total dimension of the 10 meter dinosaur they are gone and then see uh, you can literally measure the statue of liberty 10 raised to 2 meter that is the total height 100 meter but above that the tallest tower is called as in dubai that is a burj khalifa it is 1000 meter maybe when you see 10 raised to 3 you can literally see the burj Taskama, burj khalifa that is the tallest tower in the world 1000 meter so this way we can literally show what is existing in the in the universe not in the country not in the galaxy in the universe and you can go on now we are 
got out of our planet. We have come to the universe. So this way, you can literally see now USA, the different continent. Now we can literally go up to galaxy. Our galaxy size is at least 20 meter. So all these planets are becoming smaller and smaller because we are living on a Milky Galaxy. So our Milky Galaxy size is 10 to 20 meter. So that is what I am taking. I am taking you to the size of the Milky Way Galaxy. Dwarf Galaxy. So there are billions of galaxies. All these galaxies are in the universe. And the universe's size is 10 to 25 meter. So this is what this going on today on the number scale so and the universe size is measured defined in fact this was part of my phd work also my phd work was and beyond that it is not measured it is only imaginary beyond that because that is the size of the universe so this is how i am trying to say that people will enjoy seeing what is really measurable and we have come to the last part the last part is the conclusion so in general what i conclude that finally the critical thought is nothing but that you are each one himself is a teacher every student himself is a teacher each one can teach one and then as you teach, as you learn, automatically you think critically. Uh, suddenly, when I was about to present this seminar, this uh, important critical thoughts, then suddenly I was thinking, but in this last 10 years, what have we achieved? Is there anything, something we can think critically? So when I was trying to conclude, of course, my this is fixed. In my conclusion, my mantra, my proverb in this seminar is, each one teach one through critical thoughts you can achieve the great at the same time while i am making a full stop suddenly i came across one situation of critical thoughts i am just trying to show that what is what we have achieved in the last 10 years see when i look at the dates it is there is a day month year we were living through these 10 years one two three that is first uh, first February 2003, 2nd March 2004. As you see that, so it is a critically, I was thinking 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, just 2013. This is itself is, I felt that it is a critically thinking. This is the students, they are also thinking critically by looking at certain objects. So normally when you go to the exhibition, we should always allow them to explore because unless we explore, you cannot think critically. So this is a situation that you it may be a silly method, it may be silly for you, but to think like this, that we have got dates like this and we have lived through those 10 years, that is 2003 to 2013. So anything is critical, it is nothing, it's not, I'm not like a doctor, I'm like a great philosopher only, that you think anything, everything is acceptable. Basically, education is teaching, that accept all, tolerate everyone, and then embrace. That is, that is the simple meaning of critical thoughts. Then you have achieved the uh, right aim of this seminar. Thank you. I you my. In that case, you have to be very careful which one you choose, yeah. in which case probably the discrete maths one is the one that really is the right.
generate the other requires no previous knowledge. Yes, that's really. 